معرفة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this lesson, let us discuss about Zakat The word Zakat in Arabic means purity and cleansing So what it means is that purity and cleansing. This is the literal meaning of the word. But basically the act of apportioning a certain amount of money from one's personal assets is termed as zakat. So it's so in its practical application the act of calculating an amount okay from one's personal assets and then segregating it and giving it in charity is considered as zakat now the injunction of zakat or the explanation of zakat zakat is strongly emphasized both in quran and sunnah and we can find clear verses in Quran which talks about zakat so both in Quran and in Sunnah there are clear verses which talks about zakat and in fact we see that zakat has been made mandatory on all the prophets be it prophet Abraham prophet Moses prophet Jesus and then prophet Muhammad peace be upon all of them. The word zakat appears more than 30 times in different places in Quran. So the idea being that there is a very strong emphasis both in the Quran and in the Sunnah with reference to zakat that is charity. And this is an obligatory charity and this is one of the pillars of Islam. So what I'm trying to say is that Islam emphasizes charity to the level that it makes it obligatory for every Muslim to pay zakat. Let us discuss about various kinds of wealth which are subjected to zakat. So this is okay. Now what are the different kinds of wealth? To start with let's talk about gold. So gold is subjected to zakat. Silver. Currencies. Right? Trade articles, livestock, treasures. You have agricultural produce, and then you have minerals. Now let us discuss each of them. To start with, let's talk about gold. If someone has wealth in the form of gold, which is more than 85 grams, then that wealth is subjected to zakat. If it is silver, then it has to be 595 grams 
So gold has to be 85 grams, 595 grams silver. Now the trade articles could be the The trade articles could be the articles in the trade. So this could be any trade which a trader does. Those articles comprises the subject of trade and these articles are subject to subjected to zakat. Livestock. In terms of the livestock, the livestocks which are mainly referred for uh, zakat are camels, cows and goats. Now with respect to minerals and gaseous and the liquid minerals which are available. So th on these minerals again these minerals are also subjected to zakat. Agricultural produce. In terms of agricultural produce, one thing needs to be very clearly understood is that in case of non-irrigated land, 10% of the agricultural produce needs to be given in zakat. What I mean by non-irrigated land means if the crop is harvested or grown by the rainwater then that is considered as a non-irrigated land. So if the agricultural produce is more than 653 kilos, then that agricultural produce is subjected to zakat. And out of that, if it is a non-irrigated land, then 10% needs to be paid. And if it is an irrigated land, means that it is watered by now in case of irrigated land, 5% of the produce needs to be given in zakat. What we mean by an irrigated land means if the water is not from the rain water but water which is supplied to the, uh, to the fields, then if the water is supplied by other sources and not by rain, then that is considered as a irrigated land. Now in terms of the treasures, what we mean by treasures is that in, if there are treasures found underneath earth, then 20% of that treasure needs to be paid in charity. In our story, which we have presented in our presentation, there what we meant by extraction is with reference to the treasures. In terms of currencies, which is here, currencies include what? Cash in hand, bank balance, sukuk, funds. So or cash and cash equivalents, for all of them, 2.5% needs to be paid.